This is Harold Halibut. We're here on Xbox Series X. <laughs> Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. It's a handmade narrative game about friendship and life on a city-sized spaceship submerged in an alien ocean. It's been 250 years since your home. An arc-like spaceship fled the Earth on the verge of a cold war to find a habitable planet to preserve the human race. As Harold, a young lab's assistant for the ship's lead scientist, Jean Marux, most of the ship's inhabitants have reconciled themselves to a life aboard a sunken ship. Marux still works tirelessly to find a way for the ship to leave the planet and find a new dry home. Meet weird people, do weird things, and enjoy this vibrant retro future world. So it's a, a claymation-like setup, which has very distinct aesthetics to it. And that in itself is really, really quite lovely. So we've got a few different ways to kind of play this one. This is the performance mode. So there's like a performance and a quality. Performance mode is 60 FPS. Quality mode is 30 FPS. There's spatial sound support, PC gamepad support, and uh, well, PC gamepad I guess would be for the PC and uh, HDR, and there is ray tracing. So that's exciting. What a vibrant visual world. Seriously though, it's got a, a gorgeous style and aesthetic to it. So let's dive into the experience. Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. What? Fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no. But, but wait, I'm sure I topped it up. This Being looks so tube neat. Card management, Halibut, you surely recall that since last week, the energy district tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the hmm. social district is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait. What? Only last month, it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now, what? Let's go over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a little weird, but all right. It's got like the little fish thing loading on the side there. Fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. It looks like such a real environment. It's kind of breathtaking. Anyways, let's take a look at the display here. So you can adjust the HR, HDR quality. And I'm accidentally resetting the nits. Quality performance mode. We're going to throw on quality. And then show that off. So again, the frame rate drops and we just get that full 4K resolution. But seriously, this this is actually quite visually breathtaking. It's like you're watching uh, like one of those claymation movies. What are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can <sighs> you wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. Felix? Hi, Ma. Uh, look, before you say anything... Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. 
This is I'm like sorry I'm, I'm just like completely blown away by like the the asset quality and stuff of this world. It looks remarkable. Have a pleasant day. The illumination quality here is remarkable. Have fun, Harold. I can't believe how real it looks. Like I mean obviously it's clay like but business for an important for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora 1. Fedora hey, one crew and company. We seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to for some important information. Hmm. Opening up the Pelican Station. This is really, really neat looking. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Hmm. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. Hmm. I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna put back on the, uh, performance mode. That fluidity just makes things so much more lifelike. Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time. This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. Like, just look how cool this is. And your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. Hmm. What a distinctly unique concept for a game. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Life can be boring. When people get bored. That's not true. I'm sorry, Professor. Hmm. <laughs> she just goes down the tube. That's so cool looking. This location is not accessible via your destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water. So the tube system takes us through the water to different watery places. And our goal is to try to get ourselves home. This is so neat looking. It's like one of those old like, you don't really see the claymation movies as much these days, but there's such a neat aesthetic. And we can't go, like, at the same time? It's, like, only one at a time? I'm assuming we're going to the lab district? Like, it, it just it looks so real. Like, obviously, this is, like, a big resolution drop to get the frame rate going, but, like... It's so... But Harold, Lively and realistic in terms of its design. They, there's been lots of like claymation like games over the years, but this one really does sort of transcend that like art style into like a film like quality. It's incredible. Hmm. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Ergo. You never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. Sorry, ma'am. Hmm. Interesting. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time, it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who. Quiet, Harold. There was this you don't woman. Have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh yeah. How will we ever get home? Station yet? Oh no, there's a blockage in the filtration system. Ah uh, yes, 
those two. We need to feed the fish. Why would we need to feed the fish if there's fish like literally everywhere? Oh, I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Hmm. Thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Who oh, does it? I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it, and I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. This is such a unique so, art style that we just this. don't get enough of. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad. Ah, uh, yeah. She's too old to be button, having right. to deal with all of our problems. <laughs> the copy pad. Use the navigation nub to highlight and to do the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go. Like back anyone should be able right? to figure this out. Indeed. Now hop to it, and I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. Agora Arcades. Okay. Please select a category from above. I don't have that option to uh, go down. I need to feed the fish. This room just looks so real. Is this how you feed the fish? Fred, it's out of food. Of course, it's out of food. Where do we get food from? About this. Ask Sirius about the food. I don't know who Sirius is. <laughs> There's like a little storage room of stuff. That's cute. This is so neat! <laughs> it, it really genuinely is so interesting. And you can like zoom in. Okay, so we're also supposed to change the filtration unit, right? Size the guy to ask about fish food. Clean the filtration station. I don't, I don't know where the filtration station is. So that's the storage area. Where is our filtration system? Is that this thing? We're out of food, I know, I know. So it's like one of those old school adventure point clicks things too. It's so neat looking. Is there like a down area that's part of this building or do we take the tubes to go down? Oh, what is this? Whoa. I don't know what any of this is. Is this where I live? I live below the professor? Is the professor like... Family or something? This is such a... Like, sorry, I'm just, again, completely blown away by the... Design here of this. This is the lounge? Oh, no. Perfect timing. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum, you too. I was hmm. just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ashk. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all water ad only models. Ah. Ad only models? It'd still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Attorneys against all water, one one one. What is Sonsu's Ashk? Yes. Sonsu's Ashk. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish. This whole time I've just been completely floored by the visual style of this game. With all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth bowering through to season 36, though. Season 36. Really thickens. I'll try to check it out sometime. A brick 
Bye, Chris. See you then. Let me just blow through 36 seasons of a show. I guess when you live in an underwater area where you can't really go anywhere, that's what you kind of have. That's the cool thing about, like, different properties and different things, is, like, there's all these cool concepts to different places the humans themselves can get stuck on and try to survive and live. It's really all rather fascinating, honestly. I, I love this, this concept. I'm, I'm floored by it. It's the bathroom. It's just like every area is just built with such a, a uniquely human touch to it, if that makes sense. Like, it's really cool. So I kind of went in there, but couldn't. Hmm. It just seems so masterfully crafted. And the, the way the, like the lighting and the aesthetics is done, is, it's just kind of amazing that this kind of game exists. Hey, Sai. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow-release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the- Sai, Sai, that sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? and their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Now you should try some too. Uh, thanks. I'll let you know what they think. Did you see that? Was that fish real? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ha, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? 